Canadian undated quarter struck on a 10 cent planchet. Graded in mint state 66 by PCGS, this era coin exhibits a radiant nickel gray luster, with sharp central device elements. However, due to being struck on an incorrect planchet with a different size, the left letterings fell into void during the impression. The coin was sold for $168. Number 7. 2011 P Proof $8 from Australia. Graded as PR70 Ultra Cameo by NGC. Obverse side features the fourth portrait of late Queen Elizabeth II facing right while on the reverse we see two koalas, one adult and one infant, in the branch of a tree. Mintage is 5,000 coins and actual silver weight is 5.00 ounces it was sold for $216. Number 6. Canadian 1982 Elizabeth II 25 cents struck on a cent planchet. Graded as MS61 read by PCGS. It is a unique and intriguing error coin. In this case, the coin was minted with the design intended for a 25 cent piece but on a planchet meant for a 1 cent coin. The mistake likely occurred during the minting process at the Ottawa Mint in Canada. The red designation signifies that the coin has retained much of its original copper red color. This is particularly noteworthy, as coins struck in the early 1980s often faced issues such as discoloration or spotting due to changes in the composition of the metal used. This error coin ended up selling for $336 on January 18, 2024 at Stax Bowers. Number 5. 1981 Elizabeth II Gold $250 Pfert from Bermuda. Graded as PR67 Ultra Cameo by NGC. Commemorating the royal wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana. A rare and enticing specimen that presents a majestic cameo nature. Actual gold weight is 0.942 ounces it was sold for $2,040. Number 4. 2014 Elizabeth II $20 from Cayman Islands. Graded as PR70 Ultra Cameo by NGC. Designed by Glyn Davis and Ian Rank Broadley. Struck to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the knighting of Ronald Reagan by Queen Elizabeth II. Actual gold weight is 1, 1,775 ounces it was sold for $2,400. Number 3. 1966 Elizabeth II dollar coin from Canada. Graded as proof like 65 by PCGS. Highly sought after small beads variety. According to Stax Bowers, a rare variety with a purported mintage of 485 pieces, and bested by only 8 examples at PCGS, all in proof like 66. It was sold for $3,600. Number 2. 1990 Elizabeth II 5 pounds from Great Britain. Graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. A perfect proof specimen, this alluring modern British issue delivers a bright and shimmering luster, with strong appeal throughout and no signs of mark, spot, tone, or haze. It ended up selling for $10,800 on January 12, 2024. Number 1. 1985 New Zealand 50 cents mule with Canadian dollar reverse. Graded in mint state 62 by PCGS. An extremely rare mule featuring the obverse of a New Zealand 50 cent coin and the reverse of a 1985 Voyager Canadian dollar. The stark nature of the error is highlighted by the clashing countries represented, New Zealand prominent on the obverse, with Canada featured on the reverse, uniting these two erstwhile British colonies into a single numismatic item. The exact number of these mules produced is unknown, with Krauss reporting a mintage of six and other sources suggesting a higher number. Despite these inconsistencies, it is clear that very few of these example were produced and survived, leaving this error as one of the most sought issues in both the Canadian and New Zealand coinage series. The present example delivers strong appeal, with limited signs of handling accounting for the grade assigned. It ended up selling for $24,000 on January 13, 2024. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this episode and found this information helpful. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you did. See you in the next video.